Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's take a look at a, a Canon problem and let's analyze a Canon from the point of view of conservation of momentum. So what does a Canon look like? A Canon looks like this and it's on some wheels and inside is a cannonball. Okay, there's a cannonball stuck in the back of the cannon. And this is before you fire off the cannon. Now, after you fire off the cannon, what happens? Well, the cannonball heads this way, but the cannon itself recoils. So it heads that way. This is after you fire off the cannon. And let's see if we can analyze this from conservation of momentum. Let's add some variables here. M sub C is the cannon. M sub B is the cannonball. This is the speed of the cannon as it recoils. This is the speed of the ball as it shoots out. And both of those speeds are relative to the Earth. So, if instead you wanted to know what is the speed of the cannonball relative to the cannon itself, what can we say? Well, that is something called V sub M, which is the muzzle speed. And that means how fast does that cannonball come out relative to the cannon itself? And that can be a very big number, but since the cannon is moving backwards, that means that V ball relative to the earth is actually going to be less than the muzzle speed. Okay, so how do we write that? VB is equal to V muzzle minus VC. Okay, and this is the Galilean velocity transformation. The actual speed of the ball relative to the earth is a little bit less than the muzzle speed, the speed of it relative to the cannon. All right, so now with all this information, let's see if we can find how to uh, attack this problem properly using conservation of momentum. Okay, so conservation of momentum tells us that initial momentum has to equal final momentum. Initial momentum is just zero. Everything's sitting there at rest. Final momentum is cannonball going to the right, M sub B, V sub B, cannon going to the left, M sub C, V sub C. And now we can write M sub B, V sub B equals M sub C, V sub C. But we also have this relationship between V sub B, the muzzle speed, and the cannon speed. So let's say we are trying to solve this thing for V sub B. What do we do? Well, we can rewrite this expression and solve this for V sub C. And so let's do that over here. We have V sub C equals V sub M minus V sub B. And now if I plug that into this expression, what do we get? We get M sub B V sub B equals M sub C times V sub M minus V sub B. And I can multiply that out. M sub C V sub M minus M sub C V sub B. And now we can rearrange all these terms and solve this thing for V sub B. There's a little bit of math involved, but you can handle it. What do I get? I get V sub B equals M sub C V sub M divided by M B plus M C. 
double check my math, make sure that you come up with the same answer, and uh, hopefully that's clear. If not, come see me in my office. Okay, cheers.